our van. Yeah, fuck. This is the driver's seat. Welcome. Um, we all trade off. Like, this is our little driving list we have. There's eight people that cruise with us, so we all have like our little spot. We have our driving buddy that sits shoddy, which if you drive at night, they're usually asleep anyway. So, <laughs> but uh, here's, our, here's our CD player. It has a USB and the aux cable. Cause you know you gotta have your tunes. You know what I'm saying? GPS, of course. Here's a helicopter and a dream catcher. Cause you have bad dreams in the van when you sleep all the time. Here's an umbrella. This is this is Lewis's umbrella. It's pretty. I don't know where the hell we got that shit. But it's tight. Like this, this thing right here is for our trailer brakes, for our trailer. But our trailer brakes don't work, so we disconnected it. So this thing doesn't even do anything. Which it actually is. I don't know if that's legal, but it's all good. Passenger seat. I think really the only responsibility the passenger seat has is making sure the driver is cool if he needs a cig or something, and just kind of help him out, making sure like. When you're partners, like we have our driving list right here, we all have our buddies um, that we drive with, so it's like one person, you know what I mean, their partner's duty is to make sure that you stay awake and um, shit like that. And also, we keep all of our hats up here. As you can see, we have a good amount of hats. And well, people that are in the back, they don't want to fall asleep with their hat on, so they get all squished and shit, so well, the passenger will nicely set down the hats on the dashboard and this is a broken inhaler it's just trash <laughs> all right so now i'm taking you to the first bench of the van let's do this first bench um kind of just for like usually no one really slays on this first bench it's kind of like the people that don't want to sleep will chill, like the driver and the passenger, and then the people back here are kind of like the third buddies, kind of, they keep like the vibe going, and they keep like the driver, who's whoever's driving, just kind of make sure there's a wake and get them cigs, and sometimes I'll mess with the iPod or hook everything up, or kind of just watch out and make sure everything's cool, I guess. Um, we have this little thing right here. This is our pouch or our whatever, cubby. And there's a bunch of lighter fluid. Um, glasses. CDs. Alkaline Chill CD. I don't know where that came from. Take Action CD. A bunch of trash. It's mostly all just trash. And if you look directly next to the first bench, you'll see how disgusting we truly are. It's filled with trash. Now, everything else that sucks. And now, going to the second bench. This is actually where our keyboardist Josh lives most of the time. Uh, we just kind of like, I don't know, he just kind of lives in this spot and we just kind of let him do it. But this is his pillow. He loves giraffes. So this is his giraffe pillow and his blanket and all that stuff. But actually, in this spot, it's kind of nice that he's in this spot because we always get a pest room about our power inverter. And our power inverter is located underneath the bench here. Um, so we can power, you know, cell phones and whatever we have, and, um, so I don't know, I mean, we get a bug in about turning it off and on, so it's, I mean, I guess it's, he, it has his perks for being his own bench, but he's really the only one that has, a, has its own, his own little kind of designated spot, so, kind of cool. Alright, so, back lounge, we have, um, a futon, we, t we took out two of the benches, we have a futon, that was at me and Eric's old house that we just brought with us. We have a bunch of blankets and and um, cigarette packs. <laughs> um, this is kind of the hangout, you know what I mean? Like we all just pile in here. Sometimes usually four will fit back here. Sometimes we'll do five, but mostly four. We just kind of hang, you know? Like I don't know, drink beers or I mean whatever, whatever we got to do back here on the long drive. So it's really relaxing back here, actually. Our TV. Um, when we first bought it, 
we had like an awesome like we have like a sub down here and we had like a sweet surround sound we like mounted speakers everywhere but we're like the most careless band so we broke all the speakers actually except for one little lone ranger that's still kicking and so yeah I mean, we have like a it's a dvd and a tv so you can we watch a lot of planet earth and just random movies that we'll find and yeah we got this one little speaker and it's actually pretty loud and the sub too so chill watch movies and long drives uh, this is our trailer uh, it's a double axle um, I don't know pretty we got it from our friends uh, in a band called Drop Night Gorgeous. And, uh, this is it. Pretty much. I think it's a little cleaner than our van. <laughs> but we try to keep it that way for the most part. But uh, it's not clean. Everything's out of it right now because we have it all loaded inside. But uh, this is where we keep all our luggage. Um, we all have, a, have it all bungeed in so we can fly everywhere. This is uh, our tour manager's bike. He got this in Phoenix. Um, some fireworks in there we got from our friend uh, in the White Tide Fair. Just uh, some of these fireworks right here. And uh, I'm pulling off a couple of them. bottle rockets and stuff. So, so thank you, Sean, for that. Uh, all our merch. We got Michael Cork up here chilling. We, we used to have uh, we used to have our desktop Mac in here, but we left it at home so it wouldn't get messed up on the last leg of this tour. But uh, we would do our recording in here, just link an uh, extension cable from inside the inside the trailer into the van into our inverter. That's how we would do some recording on the road. We got our laser. Everything pretty much has a spot. You can see like the two by fours on the ground. This is where we hook our live boxes up. And, that's pretty much it, man. It's where we live, like eight people just chilling. It's good times. Uh, thanks for hanging with us while we show you guys our living area while we're on the road. So I appreciate it. Thank you guys.